Hey everybody, my name is Lucas, and have you ever wanted to get that awesome tone from Metallica's Black Album? Well, look no further, because I'm going to show you how to get it today with some free downloads. And guys, if this is your first time here, or if you've been here before, make sure you are subscribed, because I do tone tutorials, gear reviews, and giveaways, and I don't want you to miss any of that cool stuff, so make sure you are subscribed. So without further ado, let's jump right in and see how to get Metallica's tone from the Black Album. Before we jump right away, I wanted to let you guys know... I have a tone match from the Axe FX. I'm going to put that on Axe Change. This preset's going to be on Axe Change. And I have a Wave IR that you can load into anything that takes an IR. You can load that up and you can be able to get the tone from Metallica's Black Album. You don't need active pickups either. That is what Metallica's been using forever. They've been using EMGs. This is a Anderson Cobra and it has HC1 pickup in the neck and an HC3 in the bridge. Those are passive pickups and we're going to get that tone today with some passive pickups. So all you really need is a six string guitar, some time, a little dedication, and you can definitely get that tone. So let's jump, let's jump right in. Uh, I've been talking entirely too much, so let me show you uh, what it sounds like. <laughs> There we go! We have some black album tone. Now this tone is um, it's very unique because they literally used like $20,000 worth of gear. They get this tone and I'm not exaggeration. So the amp that they used was a Mesa Mark II C++. So the C2 plus plus means that it, it was kind of modified and had a little bit more gain than the normal 2c plus and i'm using that amp in the axe effects everything you'll be seeing is be using the axe effects 3 but like i said you really don't need that all you really need is like a um kind of a mesa mark amp and you can pretty much get it because even the mark 4 and the mark 5 they have like a 2c um type of tone in there that you can get in the axe effects specifically i'm using a 2c plus plus amp now this amp isn't based on a 2c plus plus it's based on a 2c plus but it's called the plus plus because a newer model of the 2c plus was introduced into the axe effects and i don't know if you guys know this but everything live that metallica does is straight from the axe effects and they had used the older 2c plus to base all their presets on and they really wanted it back in the axe effects so fractal was nice enough to put it back into the axe effects for them but they called it the 2c plus plus Sorry for that long ass explanation, and that's just commonly called the metallic amp. So that's exactly why I use it because I knew getting the tone would be very easy. Uh, I'm using a um, a driver right here. You don't necessarily need a drive. I just kind of liked what it did for uh, the tone itself. Uh, EQ wise, I pulled out a, a tiny bit of mids, and um, I pulled out a little bit of AK because the AK can get um, um, a little bit harsh. Now, if you actually look at the EQ. Uh, let me jump over to my DAW. Let me show you this real quick. If you look at the EQ that comes from the actual uh, Inner Sandman track, look, look how scooped this is. <laughs> like, like, okay, so 290 was taken a lot out of, and then pretty much from 500 all the way up, I think I, I can't see. Go away. Ah, it pretty much from like 500 almost all the way up to like uh, like 800, 900 is all scooped out. Uh, going back to what I was talking about earlier, for this tone, they used a lot of different things. So they used a 2C++, and then they scooped, uh, they had an, an Alphex, I think that's how you say it. It's like a really expensive EQ, and they scooped out like 1.2K, and they put that scoop, they put some JCM 800s that were modified, they put that specific tone for the mids, they put that in from what they scooped, So and it was a bunch of layered stuff, so there's... There's so much crap that went into this tone, but I'm kind of glad that now in 2021, I can literally just like match it for you and say here, you can use it and you don't have to go through all the rigmarole that they went through. So in this patch itself, I have rhythm, I have clean, and I have the lead. So let's kind of go over the clean a little bit. So in researching this, I found out that James from Metallica, uh, used the Jazz 120 for pretty much all his clean tones. I'm pretty sure he still does it now. I used one of these in college, and they're very good at doing cleans. 
it, it's, it's a very simple amp. It's, it's like a 212 combo looking amp. It's very good at doing cleans. I'm using the same IR. And I have a little bit of chorus for that inner Sandman clean tone that shows up from time to time. The clean tone on the album itself, it has like some acoustic stuff like dubbed over it because Bob Rock produced that album. So, you know, everything has to be like eccentric and there's like a thousand layers. But I'll just play this for you. And I'm using the um, single coil sound on my um, Anderson. <laughs> Nothing special. It's just a generic clean tone, just so you can have all the different tones in there. So let's jump over to the leads. Mr. Kirk Hammett. Kirk Hammett, believe it or not, a lot of people give him shit. He's the reason I play guitar because my mom's old boyfriend had the Black Album, and this was the first Metallic album I was exposed to. I think I was like, uh, I was like ten. I was like nine or ten at the time because I started playing guitar when I was eleven. I was playing trombone in in high school and in, in middle school band and. Like, Kirk's solos, like, he was just hitting all these high notes, and I'm like, man, this sounds so cool. I'm like, I want to do that, because playing trombone, when you play trombone, I don't know if you know this, if you play a bass instrument or, like, a brass instrument, you play a, a minus trumpet. You play a lot of whole notes, and it's kind of boring, and I'm like, leads? Yeah, man, I want to play some leads. And that's what kind of drew me into Metallica. I actually have the Black Album on vinyl on my wall to the right, which you kind of can't exactly see, but uh, this album had a giant impact on me, and it Metallica shaped my early guitar life. Anyway, enough about me rambling. So, the lead tone is pretty much almost an exact copy of the um, rhythm tone right here. And uh, I'm using the same IR. I'm just using uh, medium room for reverb and a digital mono for delay. Nothing special. So, if you're trying to build this on like another model or um, even using like um, pedals in real life, just anything that you like would be um, great for it. Have the drive. And yes, I have the wah pedal. Uh, I, I'm going to do some manual. I don't have an expression pedal to actually do it, so um, I'll do it manual. Okay, enough of that. You know Kirk loves his wah pedal and he sleeps with it at night and he kisses it when he, before he goes to sleep. But you get the point. So there you go. Inner Sandman, lead tone. You can get the wah right there. Or you can leave it off because he, he he doesn't use it on some of the solos on, on the Black Album. I think there's a few of them that um, he doesn't use it for. Uh, now that we've kind of previewed all the tones, I want to do um, one more thing. And I'm going to bounce back and forth between the tone match from the axe effects and from the wave file so that way you can kind of hear how uh both of them sound <laughs> So the wave file is a little brighter as you can hear. And it's the the I use Vendango to capture it and the capture process from it, it tends to keep a little bit of that high end in there. I think the yeah, I see I didn't even pull it out in here. I left it in there. So whenever you're building this on on anything else, just remember tame that that high out of there and especially if you're using a 2c plus if you're using it on any fractal product the presence is so powerful on here because of how the eq set up moving it up like to 5.50 um, for example 
it, it's very powerful so just kind of be careful um don't overcook that brightness because you have to kind of think whenever you're building a tone you, you kind of want it on a little bit on the duller side when you're just using um normal it's a tip for future life okay so if you're building a guitar tone don't overcook it in the brightness because as humans we like brighter and louder sounds but if you have it so bright when you throw that into a mix if you know it's it if, if if there's a lot of eq moves especially like when i mix i have kind of a little bit of brightener in my master bus so i try to keep my guitar tones a little bit on the um not so bright side like it's good but it isn't super cooked so because it'll automatically do it whenever i drop it into my doll guys that's gonna wrap it up um i try to play a lot sorry if i talked a little bit too much guys if you like this video leave me a thumbs up i would greatly appreciate it um let me know what other tones you would like me to um tone match and and um see if i can get him to sound exactly like the album i have a few more up my sleeve um that i'm prepping but um let me know which ones that you would like to see once again this preset the tone matched ir that's going to be on exchange for all my fractal people and the away file that is going to be in the description down below you can download that you can put that um if, for example if you want to use two notes wall of sound you can load that wave file into two note into wall of sound and you can pair that with any VST you want. If you want to put it on um, any of the model or like a Helix or anything like that, you can definitely do that. And you can get that black album tone. Guys, that's going to wrap it up for me. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you haven't already, click that subscribe button. We greatly appreciate it, guys. Thank you for checking out the video with me and hanging out with me. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.